Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. These past two weeks we went over how to use a field editor to create manual, bucketing, and formula variables. Today, we will finish this field editor mini-series by focusing on how to use the combined variable. As a refresher, you can access the editor by going into the Data and Analysis tab and clicking the Field Editor button on the top right side of the page. Here, you will see all the custom variables we created last time. Let's begin by creating a new field and going into the Combine section. By default, Concat is chosen, but you can change which combined variable you want by using this toggle. Concat, short for concatenate, will allow you to add up to 20 fields and combine their data into one. Currently, the delimiter is set to a vertical line, but if we click on this delimiter text box, we can choose a specific character and it'll automatically be updated. You can add fields by clicking on this add field button and delete them by clicking on the delete field button. Each time the delete field button is clicked, the most recently added field will be deleted. Now let's map our fields by clicking on these dropdowns and finding the data we'd like to select. In this case, I want to combine favorite colors and salary. So let's find and map these two questions. Please note that other custom fields such as good and bad tastes cannot be mapped into a concat or coalesce variable. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and give this field a name and click create field. Before publishing, we will also create a coalesce variable. You can provide two to five fields and this will be the order in which each field is checked for values if one or more are empty. A use case for this variable is selecting the best way to contact a respondent. If you asked for a phone number, email, and address, and they only provided one of these, you could create a coalesce variable labeled contact method and choose your preferred order of contact. In this case, we will look at their reasoning for their favorite color, and if that's not included, we'll look to see if their favorite color was even included in the survey. With the fields mapped, let's give this variable a name, click Create Field, Review and Publish, and Publish our changes. Once these changes are processed, we can add these fields to our data and analysis table view and appreciate our newly created combined variables. And that's it! Thank you for learning how to create combined variables with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the 2 Minute Tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.